So I don't really know what this is, but the neighbors like throwing it out. I'm like, okay, cool, some free metal. So I was like chopping it up. I was like, I wanted to build this torch cart over the winter. And then like I chopped it up and then the pieces kind of sat here and I forgot all about it. All right, so I got these torch bottles here and every time I need to use them, I got to move them around. It's kind of a pain. So I need a torch cart and I was going to buy one, but I don't like any of the ones that I've seen. So over here, I got this piece of metal. I don't know what it was for. My neighbor built this for something. Anyways, in his driveway, he got one of his cleaning rampages and started giving me stuff. He's like, just get rid of it. And I, I didn't know if I was going to build a tree stand out of it or what, but then I decided, well, there's free metal there, so I think I'm going to chop this up and use this metal to build a, a torch cart. I don't really know how. Probably ready to be ground down and and welded up here, but we're gonna wait a little bit because we're gonna run out of daylight before I can get all that done. I'm working on ice, and it's time to make dinner. And then uh, the other day, I was like, had to move the bottles across the yard for like a hundredth time, and I was like, screw this, I'm just gonna build this torch cart. So that's why it was like winter when I chopped everything up, I get sidetracked. There's one leg. Now look, people, I get it. You're gonna say, oh, you didn't clean your metal enough. You can do this and do that. I don't really care. This is just, I'm just getting tired of moving the bottles around. So I just came out here, got the water out. I'm just gonna tack some stuff together and call it good. Alright, those are the two uprights there.
holes now. I think I filled it too. It's pretty good for my skill level. Yeah, things are a little crooked. Basically, you see what I'm going for. I'm going for like an off-road buggy torch cart because I'm always dragging it across the driveway in rough terrain. Yeah, my stuff never breaks where I want it to, which is by my shop. So, let's see, five inches about, right? So I weld something five and a half inches down here. Let's see what I got laid around. This is uh, one of the more interesting projects I've ever done. I'm just literally using pieces of scrap around the property to build this thing because I need a torch cart. I have a bunch of washers and some lock pins for this axle, but I'm trying to remember where I put them. Because like I've seen these tires on sale months ago. I was bought them, so I knew I wanted a torch cart with that size tire. And now here I am building it. I can't remember where I put all the parts.
So I never found the parts that I really bought for this project, but I found some stuff laying around the glove box of the pickup truck that might work, so. It's actually pretty easy to drill through. I took what was left of the piece of axle, cut it in two. I'm using that for handles for this rig. I feel like we're getting somewhere now. I'm tired of them torch bottles helping to get moved around. So uh, I built my, obviously it needs grinded down a lot, but I'm using my scrap metal to build a torch cart. It's not bad for scrap. Just like hacking it together here. That's what scrap's for. I'm gonna grind it down, paint it up, put some bottles on there, ratchet strap them on there. I'm gonna put like an ammo box on the back of it for keeping like all the torque shit in. All right, you wanna take a gander? Yeah. No. Well, there it is. There's the there's the torch set on the cart. Now I want to get like a ammo can to go in the back here. I can put like my striker and my sunglasses, gloves, whatever in there. And then I should probably put like two hooks or pegs on the side for wrapping the hose around. But you know, it's kind of good for now. I'll find some stuff laying around the property and, and kind of pimp it out a little bit. Still needs ground down and painted, but Right now, I have it to function, functionable. I mean, I don't know if I'm really going to paint it. I say I'm going to. I have every intentions to, but I'll probably just let it rust or nothing. Yeah, I'm gonna need something bigger. That's what she said. I still have a quarter inch. Well, there you have it. The finished torch cart. Got some paint on there. They got this box. I don't have everything in it right now, but I can put my gloves and all that in there. I tried to weld it on and just burning some stuff, so I ended up putting bolts on it. Uh, things strapped down is good to go. That's about all of it. So, all right. I gotta clean up the property. 
because apparently people are nosy, like to call code enforcement on me. This is gonna be fun.